Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today it's just a real short one. I've been under the weather. I do apologize. I haven't been my usual video making self, but I, I did want to get out of bed for a little bit and at least do a little something. So I was like, let me give myself an hour, mod a keyboard that I've been wanting to mod for a while and see how I could do it, how well it would turn out if I just spent an hour or less on it. So I went ahead and took the Red Dragon K631 Pro SE uh, caster, I do believe, which I reviewed a couple months back and it was actually, up until that date, it had been the best Red Dragon stock keyboard I'd come across. Uh, that's changed since, but um, it's been my Windows workstation primary keyboard for some time and I was like yeah I've got some ideas for it but decided to just go ahead and just go with my gut and let's let's see what I could do in under an hour so I took up took it apart removing the plate uh, which I do like this style this design because it has an integrated top plate so it's basically like having a PC uh, plate I mean I think this might be PC I'm not sure what the material is but it's uh, it's a plastic plate in my opinion, much better than a steel plate and probably cheaper as well. Um, removed the PCB, disconnected it from the battery, and I added Poron switch pads provided to me by pulling keys. Um, I like Poron switch pads. I think it adds a little bit of softness and a little bit of pop. Um, it sounds a little bit different in each keyboard, but I, I think it worked in this situation. I also went ahead and did three layers of Tempest tape bot with some masking tape uh, white masking tape and I also used I cut up some of those poron pads and made basically little cushions for where the stabilizers strike the board I also used some grip tape I had to use two pieces on each side but they're on there tight now uh, to tighten up the stabilizers otherwise they were pretty good they were very well lubricated so I didn't have to do that though part of me wanted to take them apart, clean them, and relube them. I, I think I would have gone over my hour. After the Tempest tape mod for the case, because there's not much room in there, I was wanting to do silicone, but a silicone pour wasn't going to fall in under the hour. So I went ahead and, and used a trusty material that I've used many times before, and it works really well. Uh, zip and fit. It's easy to make fit into place, and it does a pretty good job at dampening uh, keyboard cases especially plastic keyboard cases so after that i went ahead and put it back together making sure to line up the switch so that i could still uh, turn it turn the wireless uh, feature on as well as the USB C port and then i went ahead and did i think i was at 50 say 53 or 55 minutes and i had time to do one more thing which was to remove the logo uh, using non-acetone nail polish remover. I took first a Q-tip and tested it on a corner, saw that it came off just fine, used the rest of the Q-tip to get a good majority of it off, and then took a cotton ball and soaked it in the nail polish remover and removed the rest of the uh, logo using a little bit of uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol to clean up any of the residue because it does leave a little bit of paint residue behind but it comes right off with the alcohol. It went ahead and stuck with the stock switches as they're pretty good linear switches that didn't require any lubing and sound pretty good. A little lighter than I usually like but again like I said it's on my Windows workstation which I only use a couple, three times a day. In replacement of the keycaps, I wanted to stay with the same color scheme, even though the keyboard itself doesn't really have anything on it, but I went ahead and loaded up um, these SA. I've heard, or I've seen them listed by different names. Uh, Terror Below is one of them, um, but I really like the colors on these. It really does give me a bit of a C kind of um, vibe. So I went ahead and popped these caps on there, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's going back uh, as my Windows Workstation keyboard. Uh, I have another one of these, actually the first K631 that I reviewed from, that serves as my video workstation keyboard. So I, I, I have a propensity for these. They're nice, they're easy, they're simple. I went ahead and did this mod all in 
under an hour, I think about 58 minutes total. So, uh, but again, I'm not feeling very well. So I think it turned out pretty good, but you guys think differently, please let me know your thoughts below. I'm gonna go ahead and share the stock sound test, of this keyboard as I got it out of the box and then a sound test with it after my one hour quickie job. Was it a win or am I just too feverish and I should just go back to bed? <laughs> anyway, hope everyone is doing well out there. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.